Well, hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2022 review, and this one is on Hogwarts Dumbledore's Octopus, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the box here, we always have the two logos, or three logos, of course, in that border we've seen since last year. And picture of the set that there is with the uh, great hall in the background, of course, and all the minifigs included, and Recommended ages 8 and up, set number 76402, has 654 pieces. And flip on to the back, you see, you see the back side of the set, and also the features of it, and how you, all the disconnectability of it, and also three wizard, collectible wizard cards, of course, but yeah. And also, before I move on to the manual, also, not sure if you've seen these with recent sets or not, but they which are starting to include these kind of things in the sets, of course, with, in the sets with the manuals and sheets of sticker to, of course, keep it nice and firm instead of in a bag, which, which I think still works either way, shape, or form, or either way, but yeah. But now onto the manual, or which same picture is on from the box and everything, but or I mean different picture, sorry, but still uh, keeping that trend going. But yeah, and on the back, how kind it of went on the online survey, and all the pieces that come with the set, and then create your own Hogwarts castle, of course, and also all the different sections of this year and last year's ones, but yeah. And out of all the collectible wizard cards, of course, and the pieces, and the final building steps. So first off, for the music. Under the mini things. Of course. So first off is Harry Potter himself with inter with face with torso printing that's been reused for quite a few years and also all new and exclusive to just this version is the invisibility cloak which does have some nice printing underneath it, like in the movie, and of course, nice and reflective, like previous invisibility cloaks, of course. And of course, does wrap all around it, which in the first collectible minifig series also kind of did, but yeah. And also holding a newer lantern piece and Hermione Granger, or the this version of which, same as it's been for a few years, but yeah, and then. The character that it gives also gives the name of this ascent, Dumbledore, who, of which, I, which same version that came with the Fox of Phoenix set from last year, but yeah. And next to which is Severus Snape, of which, same as he's been also for a few years, of course, since like 2018 or so, but yeah. And then and next to which is Angus Filch, also the same as previous sets, but and also holding the lantern piece, of course. And lastly is Professor McGonagall, which all new exclusive variant, which we haven't gotten before. And of course, with the newer style witch hat piece that you can put a knight's plume onto, of course. And but besides that, the torso print and the leg printing all look great. Face printing also great. And also, lastly, is her cap form, of course, also classic or newer style cap piece that we've been seeing for quite a few years, but also nice printing on it and the odd yellow eyes, of course, but yeah. And it flip on to the backs of each one. And of course, all of which do have double side face prints, of which, and also some nice back torso printing. Hermione's and Harry's, which quite redone, uh, obviously, and same with Snape's. 
Wolves and Angus Vilches. Whereas McGonagall's which also, which I think is probably reused from previous ones, but yeah. And as for this minifig selection, at least a lot, a lot of which we have seen in sets before, but whereas McGonagall, the only one that's exclusive. Also, would have been nice if they also could have done it, other exclusive variants of each of these, like maybe let their also instead of Hermione be Ron Weasley, but with the also with the invisibility cloak, but yeah, or maybe that'd be a little too much, but yeah. And also do get the three wizarding card tiles. And Ryan and which have Nicholas Flemmel and also uh, Severus Snape and also Jokada Sykes, which is in the middle, of course. But these of which just came with my copy. Yours could come with different ones, but yeah. Now on to the uh, Hogwarts Tower of Dumbledore's office itself, and of course this, which first time we've ever gotten the remake of this particular version. Well, unless if you count the smallish version that came in the 2019 Clock Tower set, but however, in its own separate set, great to see here again. But yeah, well, ever since 2001, of course. But and of course, this way more up to date than that. But yeah. Like on, and, and of course, like all these previous ones, we'll take apart the section, and of course, and review it in the separate sections. But first off is this lower section, which has, which being perfect symmetry, except for in the center, of course. But this. These tree and little foliage, and of course, newer leaf pieces, and also the uh, vine piece there, and also these little roof sections with railing, also detachable, but since of course you can swap it with other bits of Hogwarts, of course, and on this side of which does have a the Gryffindor sculpt statue kind of there. Or probably representing the like uh, hot tub kind of area of it, but yeah. And then looking on the inside of which, as you can see, it does have quite s also these two bits swing open, like as you can see, this one section, which has one of those newer jumper pieces acting as a desk, and also with one of those uh, mini fig holder pieces in black, which nice technique of that. And also have two similar, and same with these, like two desks of which with nice builds of the lamp pieces made with fezzes and little tap pieces there, and also chocolate frog of course. And as for the bookshelf of which, a lot of good snots going on, especially with those rounded brick pieces acting like extended spines of some books. And also if you wouldn't notice, there's like foliage pieces that stick out, well, and they can go in and outwards, but there's a reason for that. Yeah. Push on those. Push them in and outwards, and they can go in and out, like see, like Dumbledore's magically bringing one down. And whereas for just this black one in particular, same exact style as Nexo Knight's ones, but of course this has a mini fig screaming face on it, of course.
And that's about it with this lower section. And then middle section, which again, perfect symmetry and single fit to it. And also same thing, but with these upper top fit parts, but with large jagged slopes there and next to night pyramids, of course, since representing shingles, of course. And if look onto the back side is just like we had with the uh, uh, poly's use potion mistake last year is can like take that off and get more reaching space onto it. And just like the also like the chamber secret set last year is the reuse of the sorting hat there and this is which the true bit of Dumbledore's office of course like regular two by four brick stamp sitting there with a sticker on it as a desk and of course minifig headpiece used as a lamp up there and also the chair section made with Nexonite's uh, shield bit there and also different cylinders and cones representing <coughs> uh, as different potions and things or jars and bottles and also more use of that snot design with the little pieces there or smoother bricks there used as spines of books and also other books like we've seen in many other sets before and also a nice snot technique done with these curved slopes as the stairway to it and and of course nice simple build of with the recent bird piece in red which nice for mocking but this of course representing when a uh, fox is rebor reborn from the ashes but although it would have been nice if there was a like some bit of uh, gray underneath to represent ashes but yeah and and of course this spot which built gratefully with those classic window pieces but yeah and that's it with this that section and on to the upper section it was quite similar to it built the same technique for that as the last one but just as an extension of that leading to these curved bit on the top area and also those like uh, walkway type hallway pieces there and also do get the like classic dome piece but upside down and also take this out this bottom part of which which is translucent blue and sparkly of that really nice to that like we've seen with the recent billable iron man set to of course and also of course some a little bit more of that uh, a grilling type of bit piece plate piece to it like we've seen with the recent Sirius Black's Escape one and also do you get this little separate build which is just comprised of these two pieces of which which the top part will also have but but of course you can attach it on either side if you want or just on a, another uh, Hogwarts section of course but yeah although doing so like this kind of gets in the way of other ones because if you were to attach another one of which you're just gonna have to remove the stud here of course but yeah. and i guess that is about it with this section and now onto the rooftop section which just about like last year's chamber secrets set built kind of the same but except has one of these newer type pieces where it's kind of like one of those recent ones but has the axle rock connection on both sides which very interesting how that is and also like how it's used here and also have the nexo knight's shield piece but with a t sticker on it of course and if turn around the witch as you see not much going on but have those new newer pieces but acting as candles with the flames on top and also just like in the recent chamber secret set is and also minifig series is the sword of gryffindor and of course still has that uh, trans red effect going on but yeah and also next to night sh shield piece again but of course representing the pad it's resting on but yeah 
and then I can get these all together again. So for my final verdict on this set, of which, well, a quite good set, or quite cool for what, it, quite good for what it is like, get a good selection of minifigs, even though they may have been reused from previous sets, but and it, but at least get a new version of, uh, not that, uh, Madame Pines, of course. Uh, sorry, I thought she was, was McGonagall for a moment, but whatever. But Madame Pines, of which. Still great to have, of course, but which is all new and exclusive, but yeah, but whereas for the price of which, kind of lacking, kind of high a bit, but at least since it's, of course, Harry Potter and whatnot, but, and also do get plenty of good snot techniques, as you saw on the interior, of course, but yeah, and also get an all-new version of the invisibility cloak obviously and yeah and also and of course a small version of fox as well of course and so now if you're looking to get this set for your hogwarts display of which definitely pick this up and if you're looking to, to get this for your the rest of your newer harry potter collection also definitely pick this up and if you're looking to get this in reclaim instead of getting the older 2001 version of this set also definitely pick this up and that's it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching